let's jump over to um, comments, questions, concerns regarding our MicroTick series. You can find out more about this MicroTick series at cat5.tv slash MicroTick. A real quick rundown for you. This series is designed to help you get from never using a MicroTick device to being able to do some really cool advanced stuff with your MicroTick router. MicroTick routers, the reason that we are featuring them is because they are affordable consumer priced routers, but the feature set that they include is more like that of an enterprise router. So you're getting way more than you pay for and we're able to do basically anything with a MicroTik router that you can with those enterprise, you know, devices that are 10 times the price and you can have one at home. They are perfect for small, medium sized businesses uh, because they are so affordable and yet so secure and so capable. So looking at the MicroTik devices um, through the course of the series at cat5.tv slash MicroTik, you're going to be able to learn um, from the get go how to use them, how to program them, how to set up your networking. And that series is available for you. How much money, Robbie? Absolutely free. Zero dollars. So cat5.tv slash MicroTik is where you can enjoy that series, which is ongoing. And uh, so it's a great opportunity for you to be able to learn more about these devices. So jumping over to our YouTube channel at linuxtechshow.com. First of all, Dr. Reality One wants to say, this is a great tutorial, many thanks. And Dr. Reality One, um, in reference to one of those MicroTik uh, tutorials. I appreciate that very, very much. Uh, as you can imagine, a lot of work goes into the show, a lot of work goes into the series, and I am passionate about these devices and the technology that we demonstrate here. And I'm so glad that you're, that you're enjoying that. TCC says, I'm glad to see someone giving MicroTik some love. Yes. Um, how can you not? I think the only people, TCC, who would not give love to MicroTik, as you say, are those who have never used MicroTik or maybe never even heard of MicroTik. I mean, you, you go to a, a super center back in the days when we had those and could walk into a retail store and just buy things off the shelf. Those were interesting times. But back then, I mean, what did, what did you see? Netgear, Linksys, right? Microtech? No, I don't know that I've ever seen it in a super center. So I think that may be it. Maybe it's that it's not that people wouldn't love it if they knew about it. So maybe that's why I'm showing some love to Microtech because I want our viewers to know that, hey, there's something that's better, there's something that is affordable, and something that is fantastic and secure. Rockaway CCW says, my MicroTik came in the mail yesterday. Yes. I tried to name my Wi-Fi. This is not the Wi-Fi you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> but it wouldn't let me. Oh, see, I said MicroTik can do anything, but you have to have a valid SSID. Um, that, I guess, is, I just assumed that you knew that. Um, maybe there's a character limit, or maybe it, I'm reading again, uh, or maybe it doesn't like spaces or punctuation, not sure. So instead, I named the 5 gigahertz, not yours, and the 2 gigahertz, DEA, surveillance van. All right, so you got two networks, the five gigahertz for your own usage and this DEA surveillance van. Can I suggest, uh, if you want to play this fun game, that uh, you look at um, on at cat5.tv slash microtick Rockaway CCW. Um, I did a tutorial on how to set up a true guest Wi-Fi. And you could use that virtual WLAN and then that way you're not using your, your, you know, your two gigahertz because you might want to use that for something for real, right? But you could set up a virtual wireless LAN and it could be named with a silly SSID like that if you like. So Rockaway CCW goes on. This is a long comment, folks. In fact, it was sent in two parts. 
It says, I'd like to have the two gigahertz Wi-Fi DEA surveillance van activate and deactivate at random times <laughs> to mimic a van cruising around the area to freak out my crackhead neighbors. <laughs> oh boy. Is there a way to do that? Rockaway CCW asks. You never know the motivation of these questions, but hey, okay, so I said you can do anything with Microtech, and truly, truly, you can. So I'll just jump over to my Pinebook Pro here, which has WebFig up and running, and Rockaway CCW. Yes, there, it would be possible to do that. Okay, so first of all, I want to remind you that DEA underscore surveillance van, that is your SSID. That's not your, your interface name. Um, so what we want to obtain is your interface name. So over here, um, you may remember if you've been following the series, uh, go up to wireless and click wireless. And you see, okay, so find your 2.4 gigahertz. Two, so there it is, 2 gigahertz. It's the one in the middle. It is WLAN1 on my micro tick. It may be different on yours, but find out which one it is. You need to know the name of that. So in my case, it's all lowercase WLAN1. Now, what I want to do is go into System and Scheduler. And in the course of this series, I have mentioned that the micro tick is programmable. So that's essentially what we're going to do. We're going to program it uh, using the scheduler because you mentioned that you want this to happen. You said at random times it's not actually going to be random. In our case, we'll do it on a schedule and it will recur. So it will turn on and then off and on and off. Um, so add new. And we're going to call this one, name it um, turn off 2.4 gigahertz. And my start date, it's setting it automatically to tomorrow's date. I want to set it to today just so that you see it happening right away. And I'm going to set it to uh, 12 o'clock on the button with an interval. Now, you would probably, if you want it to be every minute, right? You could do something like that. If you want it to be every 10 minutes, something like that. For the case of the, uh, for the sake of the demonstration, I'm going to do every 10 seconds, keeping in mind we're going to be turning it on and off, on and off. So it's actually going to be every five seconds. I'm going to set the intervals as such. So, uh, but that will just make it so that we can see it right away. So the on event is where we're actually going to program it. So we're going to say interface wireless disable. What was the name of it? WLAN 1. Okay. As soon as I hit OK, I'm going to lose my WLAN 1. So if I head over to, because see, it's, it's already scheduled it, and it's going to say run count, and that's going to start increasing. See that? 1. So now my wireless is off. So if I go to wireless now, you can see WLAN 1 has been disabled. So go back to your scheduler, because we need to, now the van has driven away, presumably. Right? So we want to make it so that the van has returned. Let's put this into a scenario that maybe makes a little more sense because I, I understand Rockaway CCW is being a little bit silly here, but uh, I'm still happy to oblige. Let's think about a parent who wants to be able to turn, uh, so set your guest Wi-Fi, uh, use that tutorial to create a Wi-Fi for your kids to use. Then have it turn it off automatically at curfew. Okay, so let's use that as the, there's a really good scenario. I like that. So there you go. Um, okay, so here we're now creating, remember where I am here. I'm under system scheduler and I'm creating a new one. So add new. I don't have anything to turn it back on. So re-enable um, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And this could be any interface, right? Um, it doesn't have to be Wi-Fi. Um, in our case, that's the demonstration. But So interface, wireless, enable, WLAN 1 is what that one is called. So now it's to look at the schedule. So remember, I set the other one to 12 o'clock right on the button. 
So I'm setting this the same just to make it easy for you to see. Um, on the third, which is when I'm filming this uh, live, and we're setting this to 10 seconds. So right now it's, it's set to happen at exactly the same time as our other schedule, which turns it off. So basically these are gonna cancel each other out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offset this one by five seconds. So every five seconds, we're gonna have the Wi-Fi turn off, and then five seconds later, it's gonna turn back on, even though each task is happening every 10 seconds. So if all goes well, I'm going to hit OK, and we should see that that one is going to run. And see the schedule there? They're off by five seconds. Re-enable has run. OK, let's jump back over to wireless and watch my WLAN. Just watch it. I'm not going to touch a thing here. My hands are off. It's on. Watch WLAN 1, and it's off. That is going to continue happening indefinitely. It's going to keep going on and off and on and off. Now, use the scenario that I gave you uh, for those of you who are not trying to simulate a van. Um, and maybe use this to schedule that the internet turns off for the particular Wi-Fi that your kids are using at 9 o'clock p.m. And it turns back on at 7 o'clock in the morning. Or maybe you, you're having a homeschool right now, right? The scheduler can be set to only Saturdays, and it can turn on at 7. But maybe because you're homeschooling now, you want it to start at 10 a.m. because you want the kids to get their schoolwork done first or something like that. That is a cool idea. Uh, one final note for you, Rockaway um, CCW. You could actually use TX-Power as part of your command. So just to put this out there, I'm not going to show you how to do this because this is getting into a little bit more sophistication. You'll probably need to create a script and then initiate that script with your scheduler. But you could have it start at like full power and turn down the power every second so that it seems as though the van is actually getting closer and then getting further away because the signal strength keeps going up, gets really strong, sits there at full strength for about 10 minutes, and then tapers off and goes down. You could actually do that using TX-Power when you're programming that. Oh man, putting ideas in your head. All right, so the question that I want to pose this week is through the course of this Microtik series at cat5.tv slash Microtik, would you like me to be continuing to use my web browser, WebFig, or would you prefer that I use Winbox, which is the installable client from Microtik? The advantage to, um, like, just really, really quick advantage to Winbox is that it has multitasking built in and it is a tabbed layout instead of scrolling down. The advantage to using the uh, web browser is, of course, it's not at all reliant on um, what program I'm using. I can just be using Firefox, Chrome, I'm using Brave. Um, some folks argue that. Um, Perhaps the client is more secure. Others argue that the browser is more secure. Um, and sometimes it's a moot point because um, the browser access I have not opened up to the world. It is only accessible within my LAN. So it's not a security risk whatsoever as far as that goes. So needless to say, tell me which one do you want? WebFig, the browser interface, or Winbox, the application that allows you to connect to your Microtech and manage it that way. And you have to tell me in your comment below, why? Don't just say Winbox. I want to know why. Why are you suggesting I use Winbox? What makes you prefer it? Why are you suggesting I use WebFig? And why do you prefer it? That's my question that I'm posing to you this week. And I'll be back again with more at cat5.tv slash microtech.